Did you hear? No. Um, about the fake casting director? No, what happened? Yeah, so apparently this guy posed as a fake casting director. So like a casting couch kind of thing? No. The, the attempt was to try to, I don't know what his motives were, but his attempts were to connect with and get to Akshay. And he talked to his produ production people and they were going to arrange a, a, a time for him to connect because he claimed he had a project for Akshay. And they realized and found out when they researched that this guy was posing and was just trying to get to Akshay for some reason. <laughs> Guy's in trouble. Guy's in legal trouble for it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Akshay. <laughs> I mean, I understand the need to try to get to, you know, pursue your dreams, but don't freaking break the law and pose like that. Good grief. I want to talk to Akshay, so I need to pose as a cast director, right? Actually. But it's, it's, more for, it's more for a casting couch that I want Akshay. That's actually... You know what I'm saying? That's what we should... That's what we'll do. <laughs> Our stupid casting couch. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't look up casting couch. Please. No, don't look up <laughs> casting couch. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rick. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to every sports and patrons. Follow us on Instagram, subscribe, like button. That's what's what's funny about the casting couch term is that for the couple years I was doing background for for uh, um. Many productions. No, now that we've said all these names, I'm forgetting for for central casting. Oh yeah. Um, so I was doing background for central casting, but whenever I was talking about it, Indrani would always inquire, oh. and she'd say, "So how are things with casting couch?" Yeah, <laughs> got a little good casting couch. <laughs> uh, today we got a we got a game, and it's called um, something Rick. Something Rick. Uh, yeah. It's an odd game. Odd game name. Yeah, but um, it's what the. Hindi cinema director quiz. 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 Or we never do that. Gets the right answer first if you both happen to get the right answer. Okay. Okay. Negative two for a wrong answer. Oh, you're making us do math. No. Nope, no. Nope, no. Nope, no. Nope, no. Nope, nope. Come on. <laughs> How about just a point if you get the answer? <laughs> what do you think, Corman? Yeah. Yeah. If you, we don't need to do math. Whoever says it first gets the point. I don't think you understand that we have deep, deep rooted phobia Hold about on. anything math related. I also think this is one is more difficult. Yeah. Like it's all not, the more it's, reason. It's not the normal people that we like know. Like all the more reason. I don't need to do plus two, so, negative two. So, uh, but, but, find but, the prime but, number. But what if we don't know their name? Do we get any points? I say it's always that. There's always grace. So if we know who it is and we can say something that evidences it, but, other than just I know who that is. But if one of us does know the name, oh, then he, you get you get. Even if the other person's memory jogs us. Okay, here's what we do. Here's how we do the one or two points with no negatives. Just we keep doing no, positives. I don't, do, I don't do negatives. So if you get the actual name, it's yeah, two points. Two points. If you can get who if you know who it is and you can prove you know who it is, but you can't get the name exactly, but we can agree well, then it's a point. Both of us can like, well, 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 what if what if like that? Well like, tie. Neither of us know the name. Well then it's no points. <laughs> And we like, oh, yeah, it's... it's yeah, no points. No points No points. All right, here we go. Yeah, just no, no plus or negative. <laughs> God bless you. Here we go. Who directed Kate Blanchett's Elizabeth? I thought this was a Hindi director quiz. Is it a Hindi director? Who directed Kate Blanchett's Elizabeth? So it'd have to be somebody... Who directed um, the one with Irfan and Taboo? Mirnar? Is that her name? Mirnar? Mirnar? Are you telling me that Elizabeth was directed by an Indian director that we know well because we've seen three of his movies? My guess would be yes. So my guess... I am utterly flabbergasted. Mia Nair has worked a lot in Hollywood. I'm going to guess... Yeah. Wait. His. No, it's not Mia Yeah. Nair. You've uh, enjoyed at least three of his movies. At least three. Who has worked in Hollywood? Yogi Babu. <laughs> I 
God bless you, my heart. Wow, this is if this is the start, this is yeah. really bad. Um, well, I was just Kate Blanchett's Elizabeth. I had I, I've not even seen that movie. I did. Oh wait, no, I did not see that. I saw a different film. I think. Let me see. Jeffrey Rush, Joseph Joseph. Fine. Fine. Oh, it looks like a nice cast. Though. Maybe I did see this one. And I Richard didn't... Attenborough, I think I did see Elizabeth. I don't know. I think I did see that. I don't know who the director is. But I don't know who the director is. Wow. Uh, I had no idea. Oh, shit. I just... Yeah. He's director of Bandit Queen, Mr. India, Masoom. What a great start. I just learned about him. Not... From when we've seen, obviously, we've because he's a very good director. Yeah. Um, this is a Heath Ledger movie. What I've, the flying I've, bunk weeds? I've never seen it. I thought I had seen it. It's a Heath Ledger film directed by Shakur Kapoor. The, the Four f uh, Feathers? The Four Feathers. I'd never heard about it. I thought it. you've seen everything Heath Ledger's ever done. I thought so, too. <laughs> uh, apparently, it's one. And then uh, he had posted, somebody had reposted something um, about... Something he did on Twitter, and I was like, "Wait, what? Wow!" But I incredible. I don't know. Great his, start. I didn't know his name. So, but wow, we, we need to know his name, obviously. No kidding. Check. Say his name. Is it Shakar? Shakar Kapoor. Great, great start. All right. Huh. Can you name a film directed by Vikramaditya Motwani? Oh, you've admired his work in thirteen films and TV shows where he's been involved as a director, producer, writer, loving ninety nine percent of his creations. What if I can name a lot of the movies? And you get you get two points. If, if can you name any? I, it's gonna hold on. I've seen his name so many dang times. Hold on. See if you can name the most recent one we have seen of his. Did he direct Uri? No. You're sure about that? Positive. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm drawing a blank. He was the director of Bavesh Joshi Superhero. Seriously? And, well, we, and Udan and Sacred Games. That's and right. AK versus AK. That's right. Like the, the last watch along we just yes, did. Yes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's why I know him. But again, <laughs> yeah. What happens to me when it's a film I don't like? I forget everything <laughs> about the film. Every, most of, uh, most uh, of those other things, yes. But it's it, been a while since, stuff, like yeah. Udan was three years ago. But AK versus AK was the one before that, though. And you love that one. That's true. Yeah, you love that one. That's true. So is it one yeah. point or two points for me? You get you should get two points for that. For the Yeah, you named a couple of films. Okay. So yes, you yeah. should you should get two points yeah, for he, that. He's a very Lutera, good director. Lutera. Yeah. Trapped. He's a very Damn. good director. Yeah. Uh, I should I should have known that. You need to know his name. Yep. Because I think we actually now we've seen his entire filmography, actually. Uh I believe. I I there's another list I'd like to after I redo the lost movie list. Yeah. <sighs> I, I, I'd I like, I should probably make a list of directors and the films of the directors that we've seen and liked. That'd be good. That would help me remember because when we do them out of sequence and we get, we watch so many films at so many different times, yeah. I, they get I lose sight sure. of who's directing it unless it's somebody that. Uh, now, if this was name him, I wouldn't have been able to name his name. I just yeah, I like if it, it said who's the director of Udan and I'd be it, like I know it, but I don't I can't I don't know his name. Yeah, but since it had his name up there, I was yeah. like, oh, good yeah, that's one. His name. Another good one. Who is Zoya Akhtar's writing partner? Oh, fuck, F uh, you've watched at least one of her directed films with Amir Khan in the lead. She was an assistant director on Lagan. <sighs> yeah, uh, I think it starts with an R. <laughs> <laughs> I, do you know who? Don't say it. But do you know who uh, Zoya's writing partner is? Don't say her name. That she was an AD on Lagan? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's weird. Um, uh, I think it starts with an R, but I that's all. I know who it is. I know her face because we've seen her in interviews. Um, dang it, I don't remember. R like Rahe or... <laughs> what is it in Johnny? Keaton Rao? Oh, maybe that's where you get the R. I think so. I think. No, I don't think that's it. Well, let's see. Rima Kagti. There was, right was an the, R. I was right with the R. Yeah. 
I won't get the point though. No. Um, but yeah, that's her. This is great Rima, questions. Rima. Rima Kanti. I think this person was like, you need to learn these names. Yeah, huh? yeah this isn't <laughs> this isn't a what do you know. This is a what you should know. <laughs> You are 100% correct. They were like, we need to deepen. Hey, you fucking idiots. Yeah. You need to learn these people's names. <laughs> Rima. 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 Rima Kakti. Because the other ones are dosed. Correct. She is. Identify the prominent director who assisted Vidhu Vinod Chopra, director yes. of 12th Fail, and contributed Fale, yeah. as writer and producer to several Raju Hurani films. You're familiar with most of his works and consider him an OSR favorite. The prominent director... Who assisted the director of Twelfth Fail? I want to say a prominent director who assisted VVC. I want to say Karan Johar because he did a lot of his work was in the nineties. So I want to say it was Karan Johar, but I might be wrong. Okay, hold on. I know Karen Johar was an assistant director. I was a little confused by the question. Identify the prominent director who assisted Vidhuvina Chopra. Yeah. And then there's a parenthetical statement. It doesn't mean he assisted with him with 12th Fail. No. Yeah. They were just describing that Chopra was the director of yeah. 12th Fail. So who assisted as like an AD or just assisted his career? Because I, I, that's what, I that's what my answer I would be. I think assisted as an AD. An AD. Oh, like, yeah, assistant director, I think. I could be very, very wrong, but that's just my guess. Because I know uh, Karen Johar was an assistant director for many years before he got his directorial debut. For some reason, I feel like it's on your rug. That'd be interesting. Oh, oh it's Sanjay. Sanjay, Sanjay Lila Bansali. Nice. Interesting. Don't hit me. Sorry. <laughs> We learned that somebody said he, that he hit somebody on set. I know we did. In case you haven't heard that, we we heard that. Yeah. So no no hitting on set. <laughs> no hitting. Unless it's scripted. Yeah. Name the female director behind three of SRK's movies, including Om Shanti. Om. Oh fuck. Um. Now Mina Nair is in my head, and that's not it. Um. I could see her name. I could see her and name. And has her hand up. Of course she knows it. Um. The direct man. I know it because I, I see You her. should know Om Shanti Om. I see her face because she was at the end of Om Shanti Om. And I think her other films, she's also done that. I think that's like her thing at the end. She does like credits. like. Uh, Thanks for sticking Rima Das in my head. Yeah, that's in my head too. Um, um. <laughs> the person who made this list is funny. Yeah, I don't remember. Because... <laughs> All these are people we should know, but we they know that we don't. Like, yeah, they know, know we don't. Them this, by, is a, by, this is a well-informed by name. Stupid baby. Um, fuck, what is it, Johnny? Oh, now you got it. You got her. Oh, ah, so, okay. <laughs> um, I think I think it's Farah Khan. Yes, you're correct. That. Yep. Is it? Yes. Yeah. yes. Right when you yeah. said it, I was like, that is exactly who it is. Uh, <laughs> Nice, nice job, babe. One point, one point for Anjani. Yeah, that two points. It doesn't count two for you. Two points for her. It doesn't count for you. It counts for you. You're not <laughs> white. <laughs> you grew up with these people. We <clears throat> we have a disability. It's called whiteness. Yes, <laughs> <clears throat> it's debilitating. Out of Megna Gulzar's seven films, how many have you seen? Just Megna Gulzar, and I just it, nothing comes to mind. <laughs> That's sad. We've seen seven? Oh, no. How no, many of her out seven? out of her seven, how many have we seen? I, I think we've seen... Is she related to the Gulzar, like the famous Gulzar? Everyone is. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. If Johnny? you have a Gulzar, you're related. Are you related to Gulzar? He's my father. Oh, yeah. wow. Father. All, all Indians are related. Oh, wow. Jeez. Um, Alabama. I think <laughs> out of... Out of... <laughs> I say this with great confidence. And you two. I can't name the films. But there were two. How's that? What do Did you say? She direct parched. If I get that, I don't remember. If I get that, I'm getting two points. Uh, I'm gonna say yeah, I, I, if you get that, you get three points. <laughs> uh, if you nailed that film, I want to say four. I'm gonna say four. I'm saying two. 
Three out of seven. We were right in the middle. And Parch was not one of them, so you okay. suck ass. So Tovar, Razi, and oh, the Dapika. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. All these are going to be directors. <laughs> oh, yeah. That we're not. Oh, yeah. Who directed the thriller Ek Hasiniti, starring Saif Ali Khan and Umela Motka? Oh, you've enjoyed at least two of his suspense films and eagerly anticipated his latest project. One film has a few long-standing OSR inside jokes. <laughs> what? Uh, my first guess was going to be um, um, Ram Gopavarma, but we've seen more than two films of Ram Gopavarma's, right? So confused. Because I'm gonna go Ram Gopavarma. One film has a few long-standing OSR inside jokes. I don't think it is, but I'm gonna go Ram Gopavarma. Because I think we've seen way more than two films of his. I don't know. Sriram Raghavan. Oh, Andahandahan. Holy crap. <laughs> the egg movie. That's that's what, that's the joke. And then, uh, Bad oh Lepard. yeah, and Bad Leopard. And he came but out with Merry Christmas. Mary, that's year. right. That's the one we were anticipating, but it, it's it the egg movie. Yet. Yeah, there's a lot of lore. Andahan is one of the most legendary things that have yeah. inside. No, no, we, we, we no, 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 we no. always, we've got to, it's Corbinized forever. It's, it's not, it's un, like, undun, do, do, whatever the fuck you said. It's not that. It's like Bastanani <laughs> Pastrami. <laughs> no, it's. Or Deborah. We're always going to call it Deborah. Yeah, I cannot pronounce that movie. Go. Which director was superstitious about titling all his films with names starting with the letter K? Something tells me, I, I'm guessing because I feel like it's something he would do that it was Karan Johar. No. Because that seems like something that would that he would do. Okay, so there's K3G. Kalho Noho. What was the one where That doesn't mean he didn't want to do it with a K. <laughs> means he wanted to do it with a K. Currently you're on pace for it to be correct. I'm going through his filmography. Um and it says was. So I I'm I'm Feeling confident Rocky about or Ryan Karin Rocky Johar. Not. <clears throat> was. What's Does, the one where. It, didn't say is superstitious. Was what's superstitious. The one with the, uh, oh, Kank. No, you're right. I think you're right. I think you're right. Is he right? Is that Was, was that your guess? Yeah. 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 Nice job. I was going to guess that, yeah. but I was going through the, his filmography in my head. So when did that stop, I guess? After he got successful doing it, I guess, or whatever he felt. He may have had somebody look at his charts and say, stop doing that. We both have twins, by the way. So two to two. Is it only two to two? Right? Yeah, of course, we suck. <laughs> We're idiots. <laughs> you might know this director's more revolutionary sibling better, but you've seen his work. Can you name either of the sibling directors? Revolutionaries in quotes. What? Read that again. You might know this director's more revolutionary sibling better, but you've seen his work. Can you name either of these sibling directors. Is it Anir Kashyap and uh, his brother is the director of Dabang? And Anirag would be the more revolutionary? After, no, no, after, let me. After, let, let Rick guess first. He's white. Revolution. It's a debilitating uh, um, revolutionary. Uh, disease. To you be might white. know this director's more revolutionary sibling better but you've seen his work can you name either of the sibling directors um i don't think it would be the uh, farhan akhtar and zoya no it's it's because why would it be one would be more revolutionary is it because of the movie you might know this director's more revolutionary sibling Better. Revolutionary. Farhan. Yeah. Hold on. Revolutionary, quote of, unquote. Of, you might know this director's more revolutionary is it, sibling is it better. Be, is it because Farhan directed um, the one 
with uh, Amir Khan. What's what's that one called? Um, what's it called? With Amir Khan, um, Rangda Basanti. Well, that's what I was thinking. Is that why? Did he direct? Yeah, he did. Rang he did. Farhan did? Yeah, he oh, did. then it's Farhan and Zoya. 100% it's Farhan and Zoya. Because that's what I was thinking. When it said revolutionary, I was thinking it's Rangda Basanti, but I don't know. Also, the movie that they did that was the, a turning point. And okay. Thing. Yeah, I, I, you got it first. I agree. That's what I was going to say when that's I saw right. revolutionary, but yeah, I think that's right. I just don't understand. Oh, wait, you you might know his this director's revolutionary sibling better because we don't. We know Zoya better. Well, yeah, that's that's that's. What no, we don't. No, we do not. Yeah, we do. We've seen almost every single Zoya film as a director, but we know Farhan better as an actor. That's not what it's saying. It says you may know this director's more revolutionary sibling better. Well, we've seen. He's the revolutionary sibling because revolutionary is about Rangda Basanti. And we know him better and more often as an actor than we do her as a director. It doesn't say anything about an uh, actor, though. That's what, no, that's my, it my, just my says that we know them. My confusion is with the question and how. It's, I think how it's a good question, and I think it is absolutely them. Oh, we're so right. I was you were right, right the first time. <laughs> it's Anya Rog and uh, Ab Abinav. <laughs> wow, all of that for nothing. I was right the first time. All of that for nothing. See, that's why the question didn't make sense because I was like, we know Zoya and Farhan equally. We have only ever seen. Were you wrong about uh, Farhan directed Rang de Basanti? Yes, he definitely directed Rang de Basanti. Text the tool. No, I'm gonna look up. Hold on one second. Uh, and we've only ever seen Debang. <laughs> uh, Rang de Basanti. Yeah, I, I guarantee it's Farhan. Something is in here. Yeah, air. Allergies. Just, Allergies. just stuck with my gut. Oh well, next. No, that's wrong. Okay, here we go. <laughs> go. <clears throat> Was Munabai MBBS Raj Kumar Harani's debut film? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. I say no. Well, you're wrong. It was Munabai, Munabai 2, and then it went to... Good for you. Well, you say yes, I say no. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I was just saying it to be different, see if I could get a point. So you get two. It's 4-2. Oh, oh, there we go. Well, we did awful. So Corbin is, I'm more stupider. <laughs> we we did terrible. Yeah. As you knew. Because this was not a quiz to see what we knew. This was a quiz to tell us what we should know. And I thank you for that. Um, And I promise we'll never forget <clears throat> their names now. Yeah. I can't believe I could have got that on your question. I got it right on the first guess. I can't believe you thought that Farhan Akhtar directed Rang de Basanti. Well, he did. So. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. Yep. I hope you enjoyed there that. There you go. Our stupidity. I know who directed Header. Who? Your mom. No. It was actually on your rug. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you so much for making the quiz. Uh, we appreciate everybody who does this. Uh, we really do. If you'd like to make us a quiz of any type, obviously, you can send to the email in the description of every single video. Um, Especially to teach us things that we clearly need to learn. And it could be from Hindi. It could be from any industry. Um, just uh, As long as it's in make India. Make sure it's in, like, slideshow or video format, please. It makes it easier to correct for, for us to uh, navigate. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, Great game. On to the next game. Just.